As a Keyblade Master, Xehanort had a gift like few others. But such great minds are often plagued by a single great question. What is the essence of the human heart that weakens us or empowers us? The answer, he believed, would be found in the Keyblade War. What if the challenges of our past were in fact a map to the light and darkness that battles within us all? Xehanort had to know, so he renounced his duties as master and chose the Seeker's life. Since then, in many a guise, he has clashed with protectors of the light, keyblade wielders like yourselves. And mark my words, he will trouble us yet again. We must be ready. Which is why you, Sora and Riku, are to be tested for the mark of a true Keyblade Master. No doubt you fancy yourselves masters already, but it takes years of training. Only a true master can teach you the proper way. Both of you are self-taught Keyblade wielders, an impressive feat. However, the time has come for you to let go of preconceived notions, forget what you know about the Keyblade, and begin your training again with a clean slate. Huh? Well? But that's a formality, right? I already proved myself. Me and the King and Riku, we can take on anything. Right, Riku? I don't know. I think that in my heart, Darkness still has a hold. Walking that path changed me. I'm not sure if I'm ready to wield a Keyblade. Maybe I do need to be tested. Riku. Then count me in. Put me through the test. Just watch. Me and Riku will pass with flying colors. Very well then. Sora and Riku, let your examination begin. If we are ever to strike down Xehanort, we need the individuals King Mickey spoke of in his letter. We must lead them out of sorrow and slumber and back to our world. To do so, seven sleeping keyholes must be found and unlocked and a great power retrieved. As you know, every world is walled off from the next, preventing travel between them. In the past, you could bridge these gaps because the walls were broken, or because you could open special lanes with your keyblades. But your new goals, the sleeping keyholes, are harder to reach. You'll recall in your first journey that you brought many worlds back from the darkness. But some never returned completely. They still sleep, cut off from all outside channels. Not even the Heartless can enter. But these sleeping worlds are said to have their own manner of darkness. They are called Dream Eaters. And there are two kinds. Nightmares, which devour happy dreams. And benevolent spirits, which consume the nightmares. The Dream Eaters will guide you, just as the Heartless once guided you to the keyhole you seek at the heart of each world. Long ago, in the age of fairy tales, the world was filled with light a gift many believed from an unseen power known as Kingdom Hearts. You see, Kingdom Hearts was protected by its counterpart, the Keyblade, so that none could ever lay hands on its mysteries. But in time, the world was overrun by legions who wanted the light all for themselves, and the first shadows were cast upon the land. These warriors crafted Keyblades in the image of the original Keyblade and waged a great war over Kingdom Hearts. 
We call this the Keyblade War. But though the war extinguished all light from the world, the darkness could not reach the brightness inside every child's heart. With that light, the world was remade as we know it today, with countless smaller worlds shining like stars in the sky. As for the real Keyblade, it did not survive the battle. The two elements that created it, one of darkness and one of light, shattered into twenty pieces, seven of light, thirteen of darkness. And as for the source of all light, the one true Kingdom Hearts, it was swallowed by the darkness, never to be seen again. As long as it remains there, even the brightest world will have its dark corners. After all, light begets darkness, and darkness is drawn to light. For this reason, some decided to use the Keyblade, a weapon designed to conquer the light, to defend the light instead. These were the first heroes of the Keyblade. <laughs>